Hello! Welcome to another episode of How to Use Your New Wave Pool. Um, this time we're going to go into the hue, saturation, and brightness control. So, I'm picking up exactly where I left off last time, playing around with mix and luma key a bit. Uh, something I forgot to mention last time is that you can mix and key in at the same time. So you mix, whatever whatever the mix applies to is what isn't keyed out. So, you can see there's some pretty cool things you can do with that. You can do negative mix with the input <coughs> while keying out like most of the, the darks. But yeah, so let's start playing around with hue. I'm going to crank up the hue a bit, and you can see it starts to do some pretty nifty reaction diffusion kind of trailing things as I move around. I want to get a better look at what's happening on the hue, so I'm going to turn up saturation. So we turn up saturation, and you can see what's happening back there a lot more. And I can crank up hue all the way, and it kind of distorts the signal so much that we lose brightness totally. But that's cool because I have another knob where you can control brightness. So let's turn up brightness all the way and get a good look at the hue noise. So cranking up hue all the way gives you really, really um, staticky kind of things and I'm just slowly dialing it down a bit. <clears throat> and then you can leave these sort of really smooth rainbow trails behind you. This is the first in many ways in which the wave pool helps, uh, or the wave pool sort of replicates a lot of psychedelic experiences. <laughs> you turn the hue, dial it down negatively, and you get these little like cloud things that sort of pop up. These are some of my favorites. As you dial it down completely, then it just kind of shuts off hue. You have to shut down saturation as well if you don't want anything else to pop up. So now it's just grabbing the brightness things and sort of feeding back on those. Let me turn down brightness a bit. And you can sort of play with doing desaturated black and white trails and stuff. Turn up the delay a bit. And then crank up saturation again in hue and see what happens when we slow down the delay. It takes a while for everything to catch up because of delay. <laughs> there, you can kind of see how every single copy of my face, it gets more and more of that weird color distortion happening. We speed it up, and we slow it down, and you can see with every single copy, there's a bit more uh, hue distortion, which is going to result in these like feedback patterns happening. So that's pretty nifty. Oh yeah, this is a nice one that seems to happen when you really crank up saturation. It does that weird sort of like glitchy pattern that you can see happening on my cheek and forehead right now. That's pretty awesome. I want to figure out how to dial that one in a little bit stronger in the future. And I'm doing an invert mix and luma keying and messing around with all these. Let me speed the whole thing up a bit. brightness all the way and then one of the fun things you can do with this um, is you once you've got this seated like this you can just turn off the input and you can play around with what you've got so I'm just messing around with the hue knob right now all on its own and this is all just happening without any more input so it's interesting to note that you do need something to sort of kick off the feedback with like you can't start from zero but once you have something fed in and you have like the whole screen filled up with stuff then you can just kinda like turn off the input and just play with what you've got you can see as I dial Q I'm going back and forth from negative to positive attenuation and it makes the, the feedback move in different directions. I crank it up all the way and we get that noise again. And we can go slower and get into some more soft analog feeling mode. 
this is a digital processor, and but it does have very strong, warm analog feel to it. Yeah, I think that's about all the basics of hue, saturation, brightness that you need to know to start having a good time. So, um, call this the end of the video right now. Next time we will talk about what the heck is a temporal filter. Alright, cool. Have fun. See you then.